Glaciers make up 10% of the Earth's surface, and it would be a catastrophe if all of them were to melt, increasing sea level by 230 feet. This is almost as high as 20-story office building. You, you may be safe if you work on 21st floor, so it would be better if you work on 21st floor or above. But let's think it from a different perspective. This means that the majority of New York City is, is going to sink. When it comes to sinking land, it reminds me of my home country. I'm from Japan, which is surrounded by many seas. Some cities are located at an elevation of zero meters. So why is this a problem? Well, the elevation of zero meters is similar to the elevation of the ocean. This means that it is easy for water to flow into such cities. Despite the fact that Japan's local and federal governments are paying millions of dollars to prevent sea level rise from flowing to towns, at the moment, it is insufficient. Japan had a flood recently due to this very issue. In many rivers, water flooded into the countryside in September and October of 2019. Suburban areas are mainly populated with older people, and there are insufficient resources to rescue people who live in isolated areas. For this reason, the result of this flood was an unexpected catastrophe. 103 people were killed, and many farmlands were washed away. And what's more, the government had to pay $3.6 billion for reimbursements. Again, I'll ask you this, why does this matter? Future generations like me are responsible for paying off these exorbitant debts. Now, this flood happened mostly during the daytime when workers were unable to access their assigned refuge simply because they had to work. Older people had a hard time getting to a place of safety. When such incidents occur, many people will have to move from one place to another for safer refuge, and they may face sudden dangerous conditions while moving to another place. So in short, moving to another shelter is very risky under the downpower. There's another example, which you may be familiar with, the tsunami. This happened on March 11, 2011 at 2.46 p.m. A strong earthquake hit Sendai, 230 miles north of Tokyo, with a magnitude of 9. Magnitude of 9 will cause a major crack in the roads and major highways. So in short, this earthquake was a chaos. Not even five minutes after, the, me me the tsunami ensued. Meteorologists expected 10 feet of tsunami, but the outcome was templed. The time make it very influential because many Japanese middle and high school usually ends at 3.30. What this tells us is 2.46 was when middle and high school students were taking classes. It must have been stressful for parents, especially because they are uncertain and worried whether their children are safe or not. To tell you the truth, I was in Tokyo, where the earthquake hit strongly, but not as much as that of Sendai. I was a six-year-old child, not knowing what had happened. I was neither surprised nor scared. I felt disoriented by the earthquake. When I realized I was embraced by my mother strongly, again, Research by meteorologists show, showed that these earthquakes are have, expected to happen more frequently and more universally in the future. Now you heard these two examples. Please imagine yourself having to move from your home permanently just because of the rise in the ocean level and other factors of climate change. What would you do? In fact, this is already happening in a Pacific country named Tuvalu, which is surrounded by the water and sinking bit by bit every day. This could be said in Venice, Italy, where local streets are filled with water from the ocean. And 
it is causing a decrease in the number of tourists and residents living there. In short, rise in the ocean level will harm economically. As one of the international students who has no idea where I'll be in the future, I worry about my friends and family in Japan because such incidents are expected to happen more frequently these days in Japan and over the world. Now, Japan's social network of services, such as healthcare, will be strained, particularly because Japan is an aging society that is comprised of 25% of people that are 65 years and older. And these numbers are expected to increase in the coming decades. Japanese people know that they must support seniors and combine with climate change. I worry that this will cause an increase economic crisis at all levels of society. And this may happen not only in Japan, but universally. Climate change is happening second by second, but it is not too late to at least slow down negative effects people are causing. If we demand action from the world's governments and make sure they know that climate policy is a primary issue that they need, we need to solve and that they need to work on to stay in power, we don't know what will happen in the future, but we all know that we, if we don't preserve a safe environment for children, it can be catastrophic. We have clear scientific evidence that warming temperatures are causing glaciers to melt on the North Pole, and Greenland is putting billions of gallons of ice into the ocean every year. We feel our summer and winter hotter and hotter these days due to climate change. And we, we hear some frightening news about sinking land like Tuvalu. If we wait, the situation will deteriorate. And what that look like can be too frightening to imagine. So if, instead of starting the change tomorrow, let's make it happen starting today. Thank you.